In this video, we will show you how to set up and use the data logger feature of Factory Talk Optics. For this video, we will use a simple project, which is similar to the ones used in previous Getting Started videos. Nevertheless, you will be able to easily follow the steps. First, we will add a panel or screen to our application that will display the logged variable. Navigate to the project view, in our case, My Panels, right-click to open the context-sensitive menu, select New, My Panels, and then Panel underscore template to add a new panel based on an existing one. Now we will rename our new panel to Data Logger 1. Let's open our new panel so we can begin configuring it. Next, we will add a control element in order to change the value of a variable. Then we will add another element to display the variable's value on our panel. Open the user interface, go to base controls, and add a linear gauge to modify the variable. Next, we will add a label to display the value of the variable. Please take care when changing the settings of the linear gauge as there are two different ways to set the value change behavior property. We have both the value change on edit finished and the value change while editing options available. We will use the value change while editing option setting in this example. For this demonstration, we will create an internal variable which will be logged. Navigate to the model menu option and right click it to open the context sensitive menu Select New, and then Variable. You can change the data type if needed on the right side under Properties. For this demonstration, we will keep the default data type, which is fine for our purposes. Drag and drop the new variable Variable1 to the Label element. Then drag and drop Variable1 to the Linear Gauge element. Now let's change the appearance of the label element by enlarging the font size to 22. We will also change the linear gauge by giving it a vertical orientation so that we will have some space for our data logger element that we will add later. The data logger needs a database available in order to store the data. The first thing we must do is go to the data stores menu option, open the context sensitive menu, select new, and then select embedded database. The other option of ODBC database will be explained in another video. If you are using an embedded database, you have the ability to change the configuration as needed. In our case, we can see that the database location in memory is set to false. That means that factory talk optics will save all data to the local hard drive. If in memory is set to true, all the data will be kept in the random access memory. That data will be lost if you switch off your device. Now it's time for the data logger itself. Navigate to the loggers menu option, open the context sensitive menu and select new then select Data Logger. We can change the properties of the Data Logger on the right side using the Properties window. The first thing we have to do is specify where the Data Logger will store all the recorded data. We will do this by dragging and dropping the embedded database one created earlier to the Store field. Note that by default, the Data Logger is set to periodic sampling with a one second sampling rate. We can now add a variable to log Select the plus sign next to the variables to log field and simply drag and drop variable one under the variables to log field. The process works in the same way for each additional variable to be added to the data logger. Now that the data logger is configured, we will need a table to see all the recorded data displayed on our screen at runtime. Return to the data logger one panel, select it and add a data grid, which we will find under user interface data controls, and then data grid. Drag and drop the data grid to your screen. Now drag and drop the data logger one data logger from the project view into the data grid. Let's make the data grid a little bit bigger to fit on our screen. Now we have to add a button 
and configure it to refresh the data in the data grid. Navigate to Base Controls and add a button to your screen. We need to create a mouse click event for this button. Go to the mouse click event field under Properties, click the Add New plus sign, and browse through all the elements. Like other objects within Factory Talk Optics, Data Grid offers multiple properties and methods. In our case, we need the Refresh method, so expand the Data Grid 1 Data Grid and select the Refresh method. At runtime, every time you click on the button, the Data Grid will be refreshed. Be sure to click Select to confirm the Refresh method selection. Notice how the method field now contains the full path to the refresh method for the button. Before we start the emulation, we have to add our data logger panel to the navigation panel so we can navigate to it at runtime. Select the data logger one panel and drag and drop it to the navigation panel called navigation panel one. That is all that is required to configure navigation. Now let's start the factory talk optics emulator and see how our data logger works at runtime. Navigate to the data logger one screen if it is not already open. We can now change the value of the variable by using the linear gauge. Click on the refresh button and see the newly recorded data displayed in the data grid.